Hey, it's John, and uh, you're going to be checking out this week's What's Blank Wednesday. Stay tuned to the very end because we've got a little special promotion running on the products that you're going to see this week. So stay tuned. Hey, everybody. We're back with this week's What's Blank Wednesday video, and I'm with Mo, who's joining me on this side of the camera this week. Yeah. We're talking about camping yeah. shelters Shelter. this week. So. It is uh, late May. We just got done with a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. And I think it's going to be an awesome summer to get out and I think so too. spend some time in the woods, in the fields, in the beach, and uh, a few nights under some shelters. So Absolutely. There's a lot of shelters out there to mm -hmm. choose from now. A lot of neat new technology, a lot of neat new designs for the way that people are camping, which has changed a little bit over the last few years. So we're sitting underneath uh, Grand Trunks uh, portable shelter that comes with everything you need to pop this thing up at the beach or field and uh, it's an example of some of the fun non-traditional mm -hmm. shelters that are out there yeah you guys do a little overlanding type camping so we do, we do a lot of uh, backpacking a lot of overlanding and this is actually a perfect fit for that because you can set it up right outside your vehicle and have a nice sun shady spot for you or your pups if you're bringing them along too so it's an indication of a lot of different types of, of vehicle assisted camping shelters that are out there too, which are really neat. Couldn't bring all those out to the park today, but uh, you guys stop in and, and check on some of those. So yeah. let's look at some more traditional forms of tents, should we? Sounds good. All let's right. go. So uh, have you ever had friends that like bought an inexpensive tent and told their stories about having it? Absolutely. fail on like the first night at the campground. the worst time ever. They're wet, hard to set up, heavy, mm -hmm. right? The list goes on. <laughs> so we're in front of a couple of really nice small backpacking or camping tents mm -hmm. that are easy to carry around. But even when we get over to some of our bigger tents, there's some differences in the tents that we carry, mm -hmm. right? So um, the poles are stronger, smaller, and lighter. Mm -hmm. the materials are designed to hold up really well. What do you think an average life of a tent is? I would assume probably, you know, might have been going on five years maybe. Is that a good t time span? I've been, I'm on my third tent in 30 years. Oh, really? So I would say it's closer to 10 years if you buy a nice tent. Oh, really? And those tents have kept us dry in thunderstorms throughout those entire periods of time. After 10 years, you start to see that wear. Sure. Um, but uh, with with good care and cleaning, uh, if you invest in a nice tent, it's going to take you to a lot of good, fun adventures. So I like that. As a matter of fact, setting these up, I'm almost thinking it's about 10 years. I might have to <laughs> look into some of these new ones. So. Nice. Um, if you're uh, solo camping, backpacking, you might consider a tiny little tent like the Elixir here from MSR. Nice. Think you can get two people in there? Uh, looking at it, maybe not. Yeah, that is absolutely a one-person tent, very small footprint. Mm -hmm. Setup time on this was, how long did it take me? I, it looked like it only took you a couple minutes. Yeah, these are designed to go up quickly, pack up easily, and uh, allow you to stick it in your backpack and head on down the trail. How much does this weigh? This is about uh, three pounds. Oh, wow, that's so awesome. It's uh, not that heavy, obviously, for a solo packer. Um, and uh, a lot of breathability uh, designed for summertime use. So. I really like the top, too, because I like keeping the rain fly off of my tent when I'm out camping. And you can do a lot of stargazing out of the roof of this thing. So that's an awesome feature. Mm -hmm. Nice that you mentioned that. It does have a, a, a rain fly out that we didn't put on it today. Yeah. So. All right, we're going to look at a really cool tent next. I'm excited. Ready? Let's right. go. So, Mo, you and Pete just kind of picked up mountain biking, yeah. right? And so you guys are all fired up on that. Would you have ever consider traveling by bike to we've, camp? We've actually talked about it a lot recently. Well, if you're a bike packer, you are going to love this tent. But if you're not a bike packer, I think you're still going to love this tent. I'm the tent buyer, and there's great tents out there. A lot of them have subtle differences, but this thing has so much to talk about. We could probably spend all the show on this. It, for bike packing, has big vestibules with a uh, bathtub outer so you can put your biking shoes and all your funky gear in there. It's got hooks and handles in here so you can hang up your bike clothes and have them dry at oh, the end of the day. Cool. So its layout is functionally set up for somebody who's traveling by bike. Nice. It packs super small yeah. so it's easy to carry in your panniers. Yeah. And it has 
<clears throat> the feature of pack and small because this is new technology in tents it's called osmo material okay and you've noticed it's got a different feel than some of the other tents yeah it is not a coated product so it doesn't have that extra thickness and weight sure but yet it has that same weatherproof uh, and durability of a coated nylon that's awesome it's environmentally friendly it takes less water to make and these guys not only have a, a ultra functional fun lot of rooms to sleep in tent but it's really good for the planet too. That's so, so great. I kind love of a, to hear that. Amazing product. Come on in, check out the, the uh, Dragonfly bike packing tent. It's super sweet. Nice. We'll have to give it a shot. We're looking for a new one, so I think that this would be great for our kit. I now, like that it's called the landing zone for your gear. Yes. Yep. There's uh, it, they're, they had fun, I think, designing this tent. So yeah, it looks good. like it. Now we're going to shift gears and go from moving your stuff by backpack or bike to if you're in a car and you're going to go family camping. Because nice. we have some really neat options there too. Excited for that. Let's right. go. Woo! Have you ever jumped up and down inside a tub before? No! Yeah! So for those of you that have families or are going to festivals this summer, Tents don't have to just be functional outdoor gear. This thing is fun. I told you earlier, my dream is to have a tent that I can stand in, and this is fantastic. Yeah, you could put your camp chairs in here, a small table. Yeah. It sleeps six if you wanted to take up the whole space with sleeping. This is awesome. The floor is so cool, Isn't too. it? It's, uh, if you hopefully can see that it's this awesome, fun plaid material. The rain fly has got some of that on it. Um, it's got places to hang lighting and all kinds of cool things like that. You do not carry this tent though, right? No. Yeah. This is a car camping tent, fun camping tent. I love it. If you weren't here, it, I'd still be working on putting it up probably. This is <laughs> probably. one of those tents that two people really make a difference in, in setting up the family tents. But yeah. You generally have help around. But once they're up, this is something that if you invest in, this is like I said about that 10 year deal. This is gonna hold up for that same 10 years. So um, it's, a, it's a, a, not inexpensive, but it's also, a great investment to get out and it's a lot cheaper than a hotel or an yeah. Airbnb. I can really tell the quality of the construction of this. It's definitely been built to have little hands touch it and pull on it in different spots too. So this is definitely a really nice tent. Yep. So we've got other options in this category that are just mind blowing. They've got, we've got little places, places for tablets and all kinds of cool things. So I know that's not what all the people in the outdoors are like, but I grew up with raising our kids in the outdoors and mm -hmm. you've got a cave every once in a while, you put them to bed early, they want to watch a little movie, they've got a pocket in the tent, they can lay back and, and do that. That's so, perfect. Fun stuff like that, yeah. That's so awesome. This has been an adventure and uh, exploring some of the tents that we have. We have so many more down at the store. The gang's all fired up to help you guys figure out which one's right for you. So come on down, whether you're looking for a shelter, or a backpacking camping tent or something big and fun. We've got it all, so thanks Mo for your help this week. Of course. And until next week, another Butts Blank Wednesday. We'll see you later. Bye. So as we mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're running a promotion on the four model tents that showed up in today's video. If one of those is attractive to you and it's still available, come on down and save a little money. See you next week.